So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the last video as far as audio goes inside of OBS Studio since I've already done the VST plugin that adds real-time preset EQ to your microphone. And then I've already gone over how you use multiple audio tracks inside of OBS. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Audacity with OBS Studio. Now, I'm going to show you guys all of the links that you are going to need. I would imagine that most of you that are watching this video have already installed OBS Studio and then you have also probably already installed Audacity. But there is a few plugins that you are going to need in order to do everything that I'm about to tell you in this video. So let's go ahead and hop over to the PC and I'm going to open up Google so that I can show you guys if you haven't gone to this playlist and you have any other questions regarding OBS Studio, you can go over to this playlist and if there's a question that you have, which I have not already gone over, you can go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. That would help me make videos that you guys are curious about. This right here is the Audacity download. This is OBS Studio V2.1, the latest updated version of OBS Studio. This video that I'm going over is going to work for every single OBS as long as you have the multiple audio tracks. This right here will have the lame plugin that you're going to need and then you're also going to need this FFmpeg plugin as well. If you click those, it will open up these pages and it'll give you a full tutorial on how to do this. It's going to bring you right to the part of this, whatever this is right here. So now that I've shown you guys that, I'm going to go ahead and open up Audacity and I will show you guys how you do this. So if you have a gameplay that you, since I've started streaming, what you can do, this is track one, this will be track two, and this will be track three. So I'm going to import track two because I do not feel like playing any music in this video and having it copyrighted. But it's very simple to do once you install all of those things. It will walk you through those sites that I just barely showed you are for Audacity. It will install it straight to where Audacity is installed. You won't have to like browse folders or anything like that. So what you do is you just click the video you bring it into audacity and then once you go up here you just hit save other export as mp3 if you don't install that lame plugin it will not export it as an mp3 so what you do is you just hit that save as mp3 browse wherever you want to save your file and then you just hit save and hit ok and then it's just going to convert all of the audio track that you have selected which i've made a video on already if you guys don't understand how to use audio tracks inside of obs like i said i explained that the simplest possible way that i could one means track one so everything you have selected in one will be track one two means track two so all of the audio sources that you have selected in track two, that is what track two will record. And then right here is the audio track. I have desktop enabled, so hopefully it's uh, the right one. I think that that's where we're supposed to go. Yep. Gameplay and commentary. So then once you do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is bring this file into your video editing software, unlink the audio from it, and then just drag this audio file right below your video clip or above your video clip, however your, you know, your video editing software works. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any other suggestions or questions regarding OBS Studio, please let me know down in the comments section below because that would help me make videos that you guys actually want to see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Until the next one, peace.